Breaking myself out. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Popped it off and it went ding. Hi guys, welcome to my vlog today. I really feel like I should stop saying that. But anyways, I'm leaving my house because um, I'm going to Best Buy. Sorry, I have to open my gate. My Jeep is in the very back, our very back um, yard because there was like supposed to be a hailstorm the other day. So we had to move it back here because we didn't want it to get any hail damage. So like I was saying, I'm going to Best Buy because I ordered a new mic for my camera because I feel like I have a lot of background noise and just little noises in my videos that kind of aggravate me. So, I wanted to do that. I'm stopped at the end of my driveway to tell you all this. I'm not driving, but. So I ordered a new mic for my camera and it's an external um, road mic or whatever. I ordered this mic because I feel like my videos have a lot of background noises in it and I understand that and it bothers me I don't know if it bothers anybody else but it bothers me so I decided to order one and I ordered it last night at like 12 o'clock and I meant to order a delivery to my house and then I accidentally ordered curbside pickup so I'm gonna go do that and um, not getting out of my car I promise I'm not getting out of my car <laughs> and I even brought this big bottle of hand sanitizer that my dad got me <laughs> so thanks dad but I brought this and you can spray it on stuff so whatever so I got this I also have a mask in here in case of emergencies that's what I'm doing today and I'm gonna bring you guys with me and I'm really excited I have a lot of stuff that I plan on improving on my channel and tweaking in my videos and yeah I can't wait for you guys to see it and hopefully you can hear the difference when I get my mic like I can't wait to show that too so yeah Anyways, I'm going to get going, and I will see you guys in a little bit. Bye. Okay, guys. I made it to Best Buy, and I just have to say, like, this is weird. Like, the whole curbside thing is so weird. Like, I already don't really like interacting with people, but, like, you really have to interact with them where, and it's weird. I don't know. But I made it to Best Buy and I, I got my new mic and I'm so excited. If you're wondering, I got the Video Micro Compact camera microphone from Rode. Don't worry, when I got it, I sprayed it down with my hand sanitizer, which I'm actually gonna spray on my hands now because I just, I don't know, I'm freaking myself out. You can't, you can't be too cautious, okay? Oh, I'm so excited. I feel like such a professional. Oh my gosh big puff ball <gasps> y'all are gonna get to see the difference I'm gonna go so I can set this up real quick so I can show you guys what it sounds like when I get the mic and hopefully there's a difference because I don't know I'm excited okay I have my mic on I hope it's working I don't really know if it is or not but I feel like such a professional now with my mic I'm so excited I get excited over like the smallest things, but let me know if it sounds better. I got my microphone, I'm here, it's good, it all worked out. I'm gonna go to Chick-fil-A and I'll update you guys when I get my food. I just went to the Chick-fil-A drive-thru. I had a reward for a free waffle fry thing. So I just got grilled nuggets and then I got the reward because I was gonna go to Starbucks and get a drink because like why I'm already out to get a Starbucks drink. But I don't know. Now I looked up the sugar content of that Starbucks drink and I'm like, I really shouldn't. I think I'm going to go. I'm sorry. <sighs> Whatever. I'm going to Starbucks. I don't care. I'm doing it. Treat yourself. I've been treating myself this entire quarantine by eating stuff I'm not supposed to be eating, but it's fine. Whatever. I'm going to Starbucks. See you guys when I get my drink. <laughs> this is the killer combo right here. Killer combo. I live for these Chick-fil-A fries like and I've met people that say that they don't like Chick-fil-A fries and I don't I don't trust those people I don't get it like, how do you not love them I don't know I'm gonna eat my stuff and go to Starbucks again in the drive-thru being safe but that's your mix and my hand sanitizer I just left Starbucks and I'm headed home now I got a drink 
this, which used to be my all-time favorite freaking drink ever, and they only bring it back in the summertime. So it's a iced peach green tea lemonade. I'm gonna drive, and I will talk to you guys when I get home. Hi, buddy. <laughs> I'm back home as you can see I'm putting on some tennis shoes right now and I changed my clothes because my mom wants to take well I want to take the dogs on a walk because it's such a pretty day outside like we should go outside so we're gonna take the dogs on a walk and I'm super excited because they are so excited she's been waiting on me to get back and I just got back so I changed into some clothes and now we are gonna go take them for a walk Duke does not like the camera, do you? You do not like the camera, do you, Duke? He's so cute. <laughs> okay. Kaylee's gonna go inside. Me and my mom went on the walk and brought the two dogs. You see, Duke does not go on walks and never really has been on walks. And he's also not very trained. He's still, a, I mean, he's a puppy, but he's not trained that well, especially on a leash. And we made it like two houses down and uh, our neighbor has a huge bull mastiff and she started barking at him and he freaked out, lost it. So yeah, he's definitely over 100 pounds. I don't know how much he weighs exactly, but he is pretty big and my mom's pretty small. So her having to take care of him is kind of crazy. But so we turned around and put him and my dog back. My dog is trained um, and he listens. So he knew not to go crazy, but Duke didn't. So unfortunately we put the dogs back. And then me and my mom went for a walk on our own. It's almost 4 o'clock and I really need to do my nails, but I can't decide if I want to do them today or not. Yeah, I'm probably going to go do my nails. So I'll take you guys with me when I do them. Like, ugh. Do you see that? Okay, guys. I am upstairs in our office and I'm going to be doing my nails for the next few hours. If you haven't seen how I do my nails at home. I have two videos of me doing them. I'll link them up here somewhere or put them in the description box below. So if you're interested in checking out my DIY nail videos, go ahead and check them out. While I'm at it. Might as well show you guys how I remove my dip nails. A lot of people have dip nails on their nails at home and they don't do their own nails and they can't get to a nail salon so they want to know how to remove them. I will show you. That's a good thing to show you guys. All right, I moved my camera, so if the lighting is different and the angle's different, that is why. The first step to removing your nails, what I recommend having is some sort of nail file, obviously. The, the ones I use, these are 100, 180 grit. I don't think it really matters. It's just this is a really aggressive grit, and it gets the job done faster, in my opinion, than a lighter grit does. You're going to want to just file as much as you can down on the nail. So here... You're just going to want to file your nails down as much as you can. I'm going to trim them, do it now, and then just go at it filing the top of the nails. Next thing you're going to need to remove them is you're going to need some sort of cotton rounds. I prefer cotton balls, just regular cotton balls. Put a cotton ball, soak it in acetone. This is the acetone I have. Any acetone will work. Cotton ball in it. Place it on, your, on top of your nail. Wrap your nail in foil and leave them on. Leave them on for a good amount of time. Like, don't leave them on for 30 seconds or whatever. I would say at least 5 to 10 minutes. At least 5 minutes leave them on, but 10 minutes will probably have them removed, like, straight off. Also helps if you cover your hands with, like, a towel or something because keeping the warmth in there really activates the um, acetone and soaks off the nails faster. Just keeping the heat. That's why the foil's good. 
So there you go, and then they should soak right off. But the key to doing it is making sure you file a lot of the acrylic off so that the acetone can penetrate deeper into the acrylic and soak it right off. So there you go. That's how you remove dip nails at home if you're wondering and you need some help. Now I'm going to do my nails and I will see you guys when I'm done. <laughs> Hi guys. It's a few hours from when I last talked to you and I only did one hand. I did show, I just did this little nude color. If you want to know the color, is the Red Carpet Manicure shade Brood Nude. I buy these at Ulta. These are my favorite dip powders that I've used. I am trying to set up a like station to film videos. What I really love to do is make beauty videos. I would love to do some beauty videos. And I know I have a few, but like... They're just not up to par with what I want a beauty video to be. I'm going to do this other hand and I'll catch up with you guys later. Hi guys. It's many, many, many hours later. In fact, to be exact, it is 9.22. I came up here at like 4.30, 5 o'clock, somewhere around there. You want to hear a story? the story short because I can be long-winded sometimes was sitting here and I had a piece of my nail lifted up so I was like trying to pop it off with this little cuticle clipper thing popped it off and it went ding into my eye a piece of acrylic nail shrapnel into my eyeball like my eyes not okay I think I scratched it didn't open my eye for a while my vision got kind of blurry but if you know me, that's not a big deal because I'm like almost legally blind. But yeah, I went and told my parents and my mom was like, everything that could happen to Kaylee is going to happen while we're in this like isolation stuff. And she's not wrong. She's not wrong. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go downstairs. See you guys downstairs. Let's say goodnight. I made it back downstairs. Went to bed. Got my dog. Yes, he's very spoiled. I put some eye drops in to help my eyes, or my eye, that got missled by an acrylic nail. I look crazy. I cannot believe I'm filming myself with a bun in my hair. Anyone who watches, who's watching this video that knows me in real life has probably never even seen me with a bun in my hair because I don't wear them out in public. Like, I'm not a bun girl. I think it's night time and we're gonna go to sleep, huh? He always looks mad, but he's not mad. He's just sleepy. Say goodnight, Momo. Well, anyways, we're going to go to bed, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Hello, people. It is the next day from yesterday's clips. It is 11.35, almost afternoon. I had my, my economics class this morning on Zoom. I just sat here on my computer. I was just doing, as you can see, on my mess. My computer. I'm planning a new video to do because I never plan out my videos. I just like wing them every time. Like I just do the video and see how it turns out. And a lot of times I don't love the way it turns out. But because I'm a real big perfectionist. So I'm going to try planning out my videos. See how it goes. And yeah. I'm excited for this one. But I think I want to order some new lighting and stuff. So I can actually be like more professional when I film it. So we'll see. We'll see. I don't know how it's going to go. Since I'm not really doing anything else today, this is the end of today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below so you can join my channel. Because I would love to have more people on here to interact with. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.